Hello, today we're going to be looking at subtracting polynomials. And before we can get started with an example, uh, we need to review what a polynomial is, which is an expression which consists of one or more variables. So if you remember, a variable is any letter, so it could be x, y, z, any variable that stands for an unknown number. So a polynomial can look something like 5x plus 3. So you have an expression which consists of one variable. Okay, so we can begin with an example. Um, the first thing we need to do is remove the brackets. And when we do this, we need to be very careful because we have a negative out front. So, so we need to make sure that we distribute that to both terms inside of the bracket. So if we remove the brackets, the first term stays the same. We have 7x minus 5. And now we have minus 2x and we have, if we distribute that, we have minus 1. Now we can collect like terms. So we have 7x and we have minus 2x. So we can write these together. We have 7x minus 2x. And we have minus 5 and we also have minus 1. So we have minus 5 minus 1. And if we evaluate this, we're left with 5x minus 6. Okay, so I have another example up here. I want you to pause the video and try it on your own. And when you're ready to be walked through the solution, you can uh, begin the video again. So again, the first thing we need to do is remove the brackets. So we're left with 4y minus 6. And we have minus 3y, and we have a negative times a negative, which is going to give us a positive 8. And if we collect like terms, we have 3y, and we have negative 3y. So we can write these together. So we have 4y minus 3y, and we also have negative 6 plus 8 we can also write together. So we have minus 6 plus 8. And if we evaluate this, we're left with 1y plus 2, which we can also write as just y plus 2. And that is how we subtract polynomials.